But when a guy uh, uh, has those problems, whether it's coming too fast, not being able to get it up, um, you know, some sort of sexual anxiety, what what is your initial advice to him? Well, it depends what the problem is, right? Let's say he so, can't. Let's say he can't get it up. Okay, so if that if it if it's a, if it's purely an, an anxiety problem, the first thing I look at and and what I've talked to guys about is how do we decrease the anxiety? Okay, and the number one thing to me is is first of all like get get the fact that you need to perform. Like, let's just take it off the table. Yeah, so that's why I always tell guys I'm like I'm like first thing you do you get that girl home, go eat some pussy, you know, get her off have her fucking squirting everywhere like like go into that because because here's the thing like you know you've gotten some chick off like three four five times like you spend 20 minutes before you even stick your dick in her she don't fucking care if that thing fires she'll off be, in 10 seconds you know she'll what I mean? like be begging for it too yeah yeah it, it you know like like she is so she is so giving you the free pass you know what i mean and that's what some people don't understand. It's like you can you can get that free pass from the woman. You know what I mean? Mm. So so if if she's taken care of, she's like, ah, I'm good. It's you know I would like it if you were able to get it up, but you know you can't. It's not a big deal, right? And so by doing that, you you remove that anxiety. And I actually I actually worked with a with a kid up in San Francisco that I told him uh, I told him to do that because he was struggling with this you know hot chick that he. He brought over to his house and he couldn't get it up. And he was like, what do I do? And I told him, I'm like, man, you're just, you're focusing on the wrong thing. I said, focus on her. You know, don't worry about what's going on with you. And he did it. He called me up the next day. He's like, my God, I fucked her. It was so great. You were so right. I'm like, well, yeah. You know what I mean? Just take the pressure off the table. It doesn't need to be there. You know, because it's like, you know, unless there's some sort of medical condition, right? It's all mental. So it's like right. if you can sit at home, you can watch a porno, you can jerk off, you can get a hard on, then there's nothing physically wrong with you. Yeah, so it, at that point, you have to realize that if if I'm there and I can't get it up with a woman, it's all mental. It is not physical. Mm -hmm. And that means that there is something that I am so afraid of that I'm flooding my body, you know, with all this, you know, with all with all the uh, – you know, with, 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 with adrenaline, with all these adrenals, you know what I mean? And that's, of course, that's going to prevent you from, from getting it up. So you need to relax. Well, what, what's interesting here is there's two things that I want to say. First, if a guy does have sexual anxiety, can't get it up, in, and he's in the situation where he has to get it up, he's going to then say, well, wait, you know, why would I eat her pussy? You know, she's going to be satisfied, but then what, what if I still can't get it up? And, and part of the deal with this is like if you have – I mean I've, I've gone through crazy sexual shit myself. I always had the privilege of being able to get an erection. But I, I mean I had like fucked up thoughts about sex. I mean it was just I, – I didn't have sex for three years. You know I lost my virginity when I was 18 and from then till 21 I didn't have sex. I, I was totally traumatized by it. And then when I started having sex I had this fucking warped mindset of – what was right and wrong and all this sort of shit. And um, you have to get relaxed in the sexual act. And, and that's what you're talking about. If you, if you can't get it up or you're coming too quick or you think whatever thoughts, like get comfortable speaking the language of sex. Don't get comfortable not having sex. Like the whole problem with the uh, – you hear it all the time with the anti-porn stuff, but you hear it all the time with general sexual addiction talk. And I hate it because addiction is something that I know about mm -hmm. and you should talk to somebody who gets that and has experience in it and doesn't just have fucking information about an article that they read about porn that was written by God knows who. If you stop having sex or stop jerking off for 90 days or whatever it is, your body will force itself to have an erection and not solve the mental and emotional problems in it. And watching porn, sure, that could redirect your neural pathways or whatever you fucking want to call it, but so does desperation. And if you're yeah. in desperation, you will rewrite your brain. 
your neural pathways, whatever you want to fucking talk about it. But if you are desperate and you buy into that notion that I'm going to stop and regulate myself and only do it once and then try and do it this way and only watch this point, you're going to you're going to tie your head and your sexuality into a knot and you need to get comfortable. This is why John's John Lichtenberg's program is fucking awesome. You get comfortable with women, you know, yeah. that are working with you and and you you will break through so many fears doing that in. in I was so fortunate to have the sexual opportunities that I had where I could be with women to just realize like, wait a minute, this is an urge in a language that's more natural than anything, anything out there that I do sitting at this desk doing this podcast. It's fucking it's what I'm made to do. Well, and you're not going to solve anything by, you know, taking time off. You know I mean, in fact, what you're going to do is you're going to fuck yourself up even more because like, say you, you're like, okay, I'm 90 days. I'm not jerking off. I'm not this. I'm not. I mean, the next time that you're around a woman, good luck being able to control that little guy. Yeah. You know what I mean, like you think you, you got some mental problems now, you're going to just exasperate it further. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're not going to, you're not going to be able to, to, to have the neurological control over what's going on. And that is what, you know, leads to some of these problems too, you know, especially when it comes to like premature ejaculation or this, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you, 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 you totally lose control of what you're doing and, and everybody should be in, you know, it's, it's one of the things that, that I think with me is very helpful and very um, liberating is when you can control your body, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, it's just like, uh, just like if you're, you know, lifting weights or something. You remember the first time you ever step under like one of those like bench presses and it's like you can't get either side to go up equally and you're shaking and you're like, uh, trying to get this thing up. Well, that's because you 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 you're, you don't you haven't built the neurological pathways and you haven't built the technique. You know, and it's the same thing for your dick. You know what I mean? It's like it's like if you're using the thing, okay, it's like you're you're getting you're getting used to like, okay, this is the way this thing works. And everybody should, yes. should have a very good hyper understanding of how their shit works. I mean, if you're not spending any time to 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 get that relationship with yourself, how are you gonna give that relationship to anybody else?